Hello there, this is Rob Hyman and Subhashish Paracharya. We are program managers on the high availability and storage theme in Windows Server. Our topic for today is high availability of Windows Server applications in Microsoft Azure. Consider our deployment model today for applications. You have, let's say, a virtual machine running on a single host on Azure. And then you may choose to have an application, let's say, SQL Server running on that virtual machine. Now, for some reason, that virtual machine goes down. It could be it's taken down for a planned event such as patching or an unplanned event such as the virtual machine runs into some kind of a configuration issue. This results in the application no longer being available. It would take manual intervention of some sort to get the application back and running. This is not acceptable for your tier one applications and we need an, a better option. So let's consider an alternate deployment model. In this deployment model, you are clustering multiple virtual machines for higher availability. This configuration is called a guest cluster. So this time, in two hosts on Azure, you're setting up two virtual machines. Now, your application is hosted on one of these two virtual machines. As before, one of the virtual machines is taken down for, let's say, patching. This time, instead of the application going down, the application is moved to the other virtual machine, which is still up and running. As a result, your application does not experience a downtime. This is a win and a significant value proposition of running a guest cluster on Microsoft Azure. There are multiple pieces running in the background which facilitates this scenario. A crucial and important piece is a new technology called Storage Spaces Direct. This is available in Windows Server 2016. Let's talk about Storage Spaces Direct. Storage Spaces Direct allows your Windows Server failover cluster to share the storage that is usually only visible to local machines, to all of the servers in the cluster. Using Storage Spaces Direct, we're able to take the direct attached storage for each node and to form a storage pool of all the storage. Once the pool is formed, we can create volumes, and the volumes can be, can be carved out of that pool and shared to every node or every server in the failover cluster. This allows us to have shared storage which helps your stateful applications, such as SQL Server. Let's see how this all works together. Now, here we have two VMs in Azure. We have SQL Server running. So let's go ahead and restart VM2. As VM2 restarts, the cluster detects that the node is going down, and it will move the SQL Server role and all of its resources to VM1. This helps you maintain the availability of SQL Server. And storage is taken care of as well. And that's how Azure IaaS VM guest clustering can work with Storage Spaces Direct.